We're going to divide the solution to this question into three stages. In stage one, we will calculate the total energy that is stored in the battery. And we will do so using the following two equations. Now, we know that energy is equal to the power delivered by the battery multiplied by time. But we also know that power is equal to the product of current and the potential difference supplied by the battery. And it turns out, based on the given information, these two equations will be most useful to us. So again, energy is equal to power multiplied by time. But we're going to substitute for power the expression I times delta V. So we'll rewrite this equation as energy equals, and then for power we will have I multiplied by delta V, and then multiplied by the time. Now again, based on the given information, it actually turns out to be useful to take the current and the potential difference and to essentially switch their positions. So when you multiply two quantities, the order in which you multiply them doesn't matter. So what we're saying here is let's actually write this as delta V times I. And then we have the time here as well. Now why is that useful? Well, it turns out that the question gives us the potential difference supplied by the battery, and then it also gives us this quantity of current multiplied by time. Let's take a look at that. So the potential difference supplied by the battery is relatively easy. That's delta V right there. And then this quantity right here, if you look carefully, it has amps times hours. Well, of course, amps is the unit of current, which is symbolized by I, and then hours is a unit of time. So when they say amp hours, they're actually giving you the quantity current multiplied by time. And we can see that that's equal to the 90 amp hours. So we have the 12 volts and the 90 amp hours given to us in the question. So when we come back down here, the delta V, which we've underlined, that's 12 volts. And then the quantity I times T, that's the 90 amp hours. Now, when you multiply these together, you should get 1080. Now, the unit will be the following. We have volts multiplied by amps. That's essentially a potential difference multiplied by a current. And we know that that's equal to power. Remember from above that power equals current times potential difference. So the unit when you multiply volts and amps is the same unit as power. So it will be watts. And then of course we have hours tagged on the end here. So we have watt hours. So this is the total energy delivered by the battery. That completes stage one of the problem. In stage two, we simply want to calculate the total power consumed by the two headlights. That's a relatively easy calculation to perform because we were told that each headlight requires 36 watts of power. Each headlight requires 36 watts of power. So in stage two, we can say that the total power of the headlights will simply be the two headlights multiplied by the power of each one. And again, that was 36 watts. So we work this out and we get 72 watts as the total power of the two headlights. And then in the third stage, we're going to put these numbers together. We calculate the time required to discharge the battery. Now that will once again go back to this relationship here. We know that energy is equal to power, uh, excuse me, power multiplied by time. What we'll do is solve this for time. So we'll divide both sides of the equation by power. The powers will cancel on the right hand side. We can see then that the time would equal the amount of energy divided by the power. So this we obtained in stage one of the problem, the total energy supplied by the battery. And then this is the total amount of power that is delivered by the two headlights. So we just divide these and we get the time. So let's come over here and we can say that the time is equal to the total energy of 1080 watt hours divided by the power, which is 72 watts. And when you divide these out, you will get 15 as your answer. Notice when you do the division, the watts will cancel out, leaving you with just hours. So the final answer can be expressed as 15 hours.